maybe even sixth year that we have taken time in the month of June to recognize Pride Month, to bring, how shall I say it? It's not really even to bring awareness. It's simply to bring presence, to draw to our eyes in consciousness and into our hearts in love, what it means to be a Jewish community that welcomes everyone for who they are, <clears throat> fully, in all ways. We say at North Shore Congregation Israel that everyone is welcome, but everyone is an interesting, bland descriptor. It doesn't tell you much, and it doesn't let you know those special insights about each person, the gems that make them uniquely who they are. Our tradition teaches, and it's not just our tradition actually, it's any tradition that roots itself to the Hebrew Bible, to the book of Genesis, that when God created humanity, God created humanity, B'Tselem, Elohim, in the image of the divine. But because no one person looks and is exactly like every other person, it lets you know that each and every person's uniqueness is part of the puzzle that makes up the fullness of the divine. So that if just one person in their fullness is missing or doesn't feel like they can be themselves, then the community isn't just diminished, but God is too. So it's part of our obligation as a community to take the opportunity to raise up voices that might not have always had a platform, that might not have always had access to the mic. And so I'm gonna invite forward an incredible young woman who has had a lot of access to a lot of microphones over the past few years, <laughs> but it didn't start out that way. And Ms. Chazzy Gross Handler, who anyone who happens to know this fabulous person, um, you know, really knows what a blessing she is. Uh, so I'm gonna invite you up, Chazzy, and I would give my own bio about you while you come, but I have your very official bio as well. Um, but let me just say a little bit about Chazzy, just from um, the Rabbi Wendy lens first, if that's okay. Yes. So um, Chazzy and I were just talking, and Chazzy just completed her freshman year of high school. So for those of us who have known Chazzy since she was born, that's weird. Um, but also, um, Chazzy, like all kids, has navigated a very difficult year. Doesn't matter what kind of kid you are, it's been a tough year to be a kid and a tough year to start high school in. So I just wanna say that you are even standing here with us, Chazzy, I know is, um, it's just a gift to us, and I know that it means it's taking up time from the part of life that's just started to become normal again. And I'm grateful to you, and I hope all of you are grateful to Chazzy for that. Just as a kid becoming an adult as well. I had the opportunity to uh, sit with Chazzy as she worked toward her bat mitzvah a few years ago. I had the opportunity to sit and work with Chazzy when she selected a new Hebrew name. And I've had the opportunity to sit with Chazzy's family for nearly 20 years um, during all of the navigations of the life of a family in this community. So to Jen and to John, you have the camera up, which is exactly right, but we are grateful to you for raising up four amazing children and sharing this one with us tonight. So, for you all, Chazzy is singularly focused on living her life with purpose. Her personal journey was the inspiration behind the Gender Cool Project, a national storytelling campaign and movement helping to replace misinformed opinions with positive, powerful experiences, meeting dynamic young people who identify as transgender and non-binary. She realizes that by telling her story, she is helping people understand that transgender and non-binary kids are just like 
all other kids. Chazzy has spoken at corporations, conferences, black tie galas, and schools across the country, and has been featured in national and local media, including the Today Show, the New York Times, USA Today, ABC News, NBC News, WGN TV, Chicago Sun-Times, and Windy City Times, too. Pretty awesome, Chazzy. Chazzy has three older brothers, Max, Lev, and Jess, and an energetic Portuguese water dog named Reef. Some of us have seen videos of Reef yes. in your home, and energetic is a good descriptor. Yes. Chazzy, we are thrilled to turn over the microphone to you this evening. Thank you so much for being here. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. My name is Chazzy Gross-Naylor, and my pronouns are she, her. I'm here today to speak about how North Shore Congregation Israel helped me become the person I was always meant to be. I identify as a transgender female, which means biologically I was born a boy, but in my heart and in my soul, I always knew I was a girl. When I socially transitioned in fifth grade, I started using my new name and pronouns with all my family, friends, and at school. The amazing people at North Shore surrounded me with love. I believe I was the first kid here to openly transition. And I have to tell you that I felt so happy to be my true authentic self. They created the most open and inclusive place so that I could simply be the person I was always meant to be and learn how important and cool it is to be Jewish. Because of Rabbi Wendy, Rabbi Daniel, Rabbi Lisa, Kinsher Goldstein, Roberta, Miss Friend, and this supportive temple, I was able to have one of my biggest life achievements, having a bat mitzvah. I will always treasure how amazing that day was and how much it shaped me to become the young woman standing before you today. I remember sitting down in sixth grade with my mom and Rabbi Wendy. One of the first things Rabbi Wendy talked to me about was the Hebrew name I would choose. I needed a new Hebrew name. We thought of the best name ever, Hava Tiferet, which it means beautiful life. I remember in that moment so much joy because I had felt truly myself. I will never forget my service as long as I live. The words Rabbi Wendy said to me will forever mean so much to me, and I loved hearing Cantor Goats and sing. I remember seeing the biggest smile on his face. I am now a sophomore in high school, and I am thriving. One thing I love is volunteering. It's my passion. I love volunteering because I love giving back to people that don't have enough. And it makes me so happy to tell people that they are loved and that they deserve everything the world has for them. I have volunteered a lot at this temple. I've gone with my family here and put food in our cars and drive 45 minutes to Chicago and serve food to people who don't have enough food. That's why this temple is amazing. They give back, and that's what I love about the North Shore. When children are supported, they will thrive. I am now using my voice to help the country understand in a positive way who transgender and non-binary people are. Our voices are powerful and have been made it all the way to the White House. I feel so proud to be Jewish and to be a member of this amazing temple. I have this feeling of pride, not only during the month of June, not only during Pride Month, but every day of my life. Thank you and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.